This week on The Choice. <laughs> this is cold. We're on the top of the mountain. This is insane. We came up this mountain on the horses, and I don't know how many times. I think Vicky, Dan, and I both thought, what are we doing? The choice is about three things. Real hunting. Going after the animal of your choosing with the weapon you own. Real adventure. From the mountains of Canada to the desert to Mexico. But most of all, it's about real people. Hunters with families, jobs, and dreams. Their skills will be put to the test. Every situation is different. Success or failure. It all comes down to the choice. Drop the pack. That one's for you. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Well, this week on The Choice, guess what? We're taking you on a worldwide adventure. We are. It's out of this continent. We're going to head over to Asia. Asia. Yeah. This week's Lucky Old, before we get too far ahead, Thompson Center. Ultimate Rifles. At the period. end of the show, we'll tell you what to do if you find the Lucky Logo. Yep. So, we've read about it. We've heard about it. We've seen footage oh of it. Oh, my gosh. And we had the opportunity to go to Kyrgyzstan. For Marco Polo sheep and Ibex. And Ibex. And it was one heck of a trip and one heck of an adventure and one that we will never forget. In more ways than one. In more ways than one. So we've got lots to show, stopping over in Istanbul on the way over, and then getting over to Kyrgyzstan and hunting hard. So let's just go, you know, so, shall we? That's it. Sometimes you, you go on a hunt and you think it's just a hunt. You need to absorb the whole adventure. You need to absorb the, the different lifestyles. The, yes. I mean, just everything, everything about it. Everything, because it is so different. So one of the reasons we're blessed, huh? We get to witness all this stuff. Amen, thank you. Yes, so hey, okay, be careful. Continue on, don't That's... slide or cause an avalanche on me. We're in Istanbul at our hotel, and today's our first day. We're actually gonna do the tour thing. This isn't my gig. I'm not used to this tour stuff, and it scares me because they say there's a lot of shopping. Vicky's here, shopping makes me real nervous. <laughs> I interpreted it, oh, and it God. says that Ralph is shorter than Vicky. And I said that <laughs> even back in the 1600s, they knew it was going to happen, that we were going to be here, and they put it on that wall there. <laughs> this place is insane. We've been walking all day, went and saw some tourist sites, some sightseeing, some really old buildings and stuff, and all the history is amazing here in Istanbul. When we are continuing on the right-hand side, you are going to see an old Turkish bed. Helicopter, very new brand, new 2012 model. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Just think about this. We are all blessed to be here. We are. What do you say? I mean, what do you do? Look at this thing. This is what we flew in. We flew in this for two and a half hours approximately. God is my witness. I never thought we'd ever be here. Do you understand? We are, we are in Marco Polo. This is just freaking amazing. And to think this all started from doing bow hunting videos. <laughs> it's nuts. It's the best way to put it. It is nuts. See. 
Well, first morning in Kyrgyzstan. It's uh, definitely chillier. They've got the generator going. The guys are hard at work. They had all the horses out in this valley and they got them almost all saddled up now, it looks like. And from what they were saying is that both the Ibex and the sheep will come down in these grass valleys at night. They'll feed all night and then they work their way back up high. So we're gonna get up on the high point and uh, hopefully have them come right to us. If not, we gotta go to them. Good. Big? No. Small. Small. They like went around in a circle and went back over. Very small. Yeah, three small. Down. I feel very blessed to have come here to be to witness this with my own eyes is amazing. And to be able to say that I climbed some of these mountains is pretty cool. We'll keep our fingers crossed, the weather stays well and hopefully hopefully we get into an eye bike today. One that's a legal size to shoot, it would be a good thing. When do you say crazy is crazy and go back? <laughs> in the house drinking hot cocoa, <laughs> not riding a horse. <laughs> hmm? Nice weather. <laughs> A little crazy, huh? Oh, we have to sit here until the storm blows through, which seems to blow through fairly quickly around here. Huh? I guess um, snow break is over. It's time to go. Let's take a look at this. This is a sheer vertical wall that these horses just climbed up. It's truly amazing what these horses can do. They earn every penny that they got. Just to make sure you can hear me loud and clearly, I am not happy right now. My horse wiped out on the way up the mountain. We're at the peak. It's a freaking blizzard. I'm about ready just to cry because I wouldn't go outside unless at home. And now I'm in Kazakhstan on a sheep ibex hunt. And um, we have to get down from here. A little crazy, huh? Um, stupid. <laughs> well, we're in a complete whiteout. The guys have seen some big ibex over that hill. This is insane. We came up this mountain on the horses, and I don't know how many times, I think Vicky, Dan, and I both thought, what are we doing? 
It's nuts. It's the best way to put it. It is nuts. You can't even see. We can't even see the mountains. But we gotta be quiet because they see Ibex right over there. This might be the stupidest thing we've ever done. I'm serious, he thinks I'm joking. We're using the horses now to block the wind. And they're making it dry so they don't get their pants wet. When do you say crazy is crazy and go back? <laughs> well, we came up here. And this is not cleared. We've been up here probably a couple hours. And like they said, they said winter storm camp. And we absolutely agree with them. We can't even see. And now we gotta take these horses down. You wanna talk about extreme, insane? I'm gonna owe Vicky big time on this one. Big time. This is nuts. It's a high one here, boy. Huh? I have no clue how high this is. I don't either. I know we started many peaks that way. Well, we're up on top again. I didn't want to know where I was looking at. I never looked up the whole ride up. I sat like this and held on to its mane. Never looked up, didn't want to know how high I was going. Last day of the hunt, looking for sheep for Ralph, looking for Marco Polo, and just did a, let's climb the horses up a mountain and see what happens. It's nerve wracking. See, no. One, one, two, two, three, three, yeah. oh, three. What? What? That way? What? Okay. Down, 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 down. Oh wow! Well, they spotted sheep. One, two, three, four, four mountains over. You could see them laying there. See? Yeah, I see him. I think if I was meant to be scared out of my pants, I could not find a way to do it. Thanks. 
spotted a bunch of rams, Marco Polo sheep. They're over this ridge. There's a couple of nice ones over there. Very good. Hold on. Far this left. What? What? Yes. Yes, sir. Oh boy, do I. Well, this is our last hunt. Well, we got up to here, and now it's a stalemate. We're probably over 13,000. Easy. Okay, you can see the group of them on the skyline. They're all rams. They're all rams. Oh boy. We're climbing. One, 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 one. Did I hit him? Mm -hmm. shoot. Oh, shoot. Huh? I missed. Six. Six. I missed. No. Well. You get a shot opportunity of a lifetime. Not sure, I don't know if it's a hit or not. No problem, no problem. Sorry, I missed. No, 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 no. Yeah. No problem, no problem. No. This was our one chance for Marco Polo and I, Bex. And, well, even though we, you know, I, I had one opportunity. It's been a rough day. And the reality of it is, is I mean, we're, this is a hunt. It's not, there's no guarantees in wild no. hunting. And I've had opportunities at females and very young males, but yeah. this experience has made me as a person, mentally stronger, physically stronger, and a lot stronger in my faith, because I've had a lot of prayers climbing up and down these mountains on these horses. I'll tell you, it's amazing to see where they take these horses, where we back in the States would say, ain't no way, there is a way here, and they it's ride crazy. them, it's... We don't speak Kyrgyzstan, and they don't speak English, yeah. for the most part. We can, we do charades. And it's working. These people are incredible. We've had a, we've had a great time, we really have. And, you know, we'd be lying to everybody if we said we're not disappointed that we didn't get, you know, we didn't get our animals. Yeah, we tried to. We tried, we never gave up and we kept it going. This will go down in the books as one very, very memorable experience and adventure. Well, as you can tell, the hunt didn't actually turn out the way we planned. No. You know, I did have an opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't, you know, we, we, we practiced, but we never thought we shooting straight up in the air, straight man. Straight up it was and crazy. the Whoa. first day. Don't fall now. No. We made it back from Kyrgyzstan. Don't yeah, fall well, now. Fall now. <laughs> yeah, yep. Sometimes, even though this was an opportunity of a lifetime, and you hear that a lot, yep. it truly was. We never thought we'd have, you know, the invite to go over there. But we were, and, and the sad part is, is we were told that we were there too early, that the animals didn't Yeah, they hadn't migrated down. over from China yet, so. It was, you know what, it was an adventure. We were blessed to go yes. over there. It's something that I will never forget. Our trip through Istanbul and seeing some of the stuff there too was amazing because we would never get a chance to do it and I wouldn't go back there now. So, no. No. you know, <laughs> hey, Lucky Logo was Lucky Thompson logo. Center. The best in ultimate rifles. <laughs> so if you happen to see it, you need to log on to choicetv.com, click on Lucky Logo button, fill out some information. Someone's gonna get a nice, I believe it's a muzzle order. Oh my TC. gosh, how cool is that? And some other great things. You know, so, we wanna thank all of you, our sponsors and the big guy upstairs, you know, for allowing us to do this opportunity of, of creating and, and having the choice for so many years. Yeah. And again, we wanna look at all of you as brothers and sisters and say it doesn't matter with what we hunt. We need to stick together. We need to bring this bond. And we're going to make a challenge out to all of you. And this challenge is simple. Whether your girlfriend or your spouse doesn't hunt or your husband doesn't hunt, but you exactly. do. Exactly. Get it right. right. Yeah. Here's what we're asking. Go out and buy them a resident hunting license this coming year. Why am I saying that? Just think of this. 
they look at one thing, numbers. Numbers give strength. Well, if we do that, our numbers double overnight. Overnight. It's yep. a minimal investment. To help keep our sport to alive. To give this lifestyle what it needs, a boost Absolutely. in the arm. So folks, for all these years, we want to thank you for making your choice. The choice. We will see you next year. All right. Which way do you want to go? Back this way? You go down. Down? Straight? Yeah, yeah okay. go on. I can do that. <laughs> we should have someone throw rocks over your head. Oh boy. <laughs> I'll go this way.